Hello, you beautiful hot babies. It is a beautiful Tuesday. And what better day to draft Lost Caverns of Ixalan than the day it comes out? Look at this. A beacon of logic and knowledge is day nine. Uh, I did want to note that today is the 14th of November, which is the first day of our DK30. And for those of you that don't know what DK30 is, it's that we start a 30-day project all on the same day, so we can spend 30 days being kind and encouraging and supportive to one another through our successes and delays. And mine is going to be fitness related, because let me tell you, over the pandemic, I ate everything that I could see, okay? It was great. That's how I cope. It was terrific. Um, also, for those of you who are wondering why I'm so red today, uh, I got to change the white balance settings on my camera, or I'm blushing because you're tuned in. Oh, it's the white balance. Um, so I'm going to be spending the next 30 days eating healthy, going to the gym. But for me, it's not going to stop after one month. We're going to keep going for a full year. So I will soon be the most aerodynamic I have ever been. If any of you are curious in participating, you can go to the website day9.tv, go to the DK30 tab, and you'll see it right there. But for now, I'm going to spend a whole draft token... and we're gonna enter in. Now, I have not done a lot of research and study, but I can tell you that if I just emphasize getting two drops, I think we'll probably get at least five wins. <laughs> okay, uh, first one. Tarian Soul Clear has Vigilance, Artifact on the Creature put in Graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Equipped Creature. That seems very good. That seems insane. I'm going to just mark this, and let me explain why this seems insane. There's a lot of treasures and map tokens. So if any of our opponent is uh, working at the map store during their drafting phase, I would imagine they'll be able to turn that into counters. But what else is good here? I think Market Gnome is great. When it dies, draw life, gain a card. When it's exiled, gain a life and draw a card but only when you're doing crafting, so... But, I mean, either way, it's a good blocker. Replaces itself. Love to see those. I, I was more excited about this card. I think that... Well, I mean, the, the, the biggest mitigating factor is that I'm awful <laughs> when I first step into drafting. Because I kind of like not knowing anything, swimming my way through for a couple drafts, and then kind of seeing where things go from there. You know, eventually I will... Go and look at some videos. Go look at some strategy guides and so on. Let's see here. Clay-fired bricks. Search library for basic planes. Okay. When Cognium kill on his battlefield, create two colorless gnome artifact creature tokens. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. I actually quite, quite like this. <clears throat> the craft with artifact is a little expensive, so it's a little slow. Uh, there's also an abrade. Two mana, deal three damage. Just seems great. Just seems great, right? Beginning of your end step, if you descended this turn, make a treasure token. Oh my god, that's... <sighs> this is going to be hard to say no to because I just love... I love mana. I love anything that generates mana. I'm going to mark this. What else is here? Oh yeah, this is the make the tokens of the stuff. Murpho Cave Drive Diver. I'm not going to worry too much about that stuff, but... I feel like it's one of these, but I'm, I, I think I'll try the Enterprise and Scallywag. The other one I'd be a little more excited about and constructed. This is the Shuffle in. Oh, wow. Interesting. Helping Hand seems mediocre. I really thought Atali's Favor was spectacular. I thought this was really, really good. This is a great way to get a bunch of early power in. So I'm kind of seeing, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of Kind of seeing a little bit of a theme. Yeah. Now, my goodness, I... Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get Atali's favor, and then if I can do some sort of, like, green-red aggro, I mean, that seems, like, pretty straightforward for your pal Dana. Dreadmaw's ire was good for you in pre-release. Yeah, there's there's something. I, 
I'm I'm kind of thinking of that one. These kinds of combat tricks, I think, are more effective than you might think. Oh yeah, no this this one is whatever. Could be, could be potential, could be potential. And his battlefield make a treasure token. Idol of the Deep King. I feel ah, uh, I definitely overvalue things that deal two damage. But we have fanatical offering. Could go well with enterprising scallywag. Turn target creature from your grave to the battlefield. That creature explores, then it explores again. I like fanatical offering, but I, I mean, my my habitual problem that I will have in a new set is that I absolutely overvalue uh, expensive cards that do cool things. Two damage is a huge breakpoint in the set, yeah. I mean, part of me is just like, dude, why not just grab all the red cards? All right, I mean, there is a Thrashing Brontodon. A 3-4 for 3, I think, is good. And I mean, like, if I can go in red-green aggro, I think I'll be quite happy. Um, ooh, Oltec Cloud Guard is also very good. A 3-mana flyer that makes a token. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. All right, instruct me. What do you want to do? Do you want to do a Thrashing Bronton to Dawn or an Oltec Cloud Guard? These are the two. This is the moment. This is it. This is the moment. This is the big moment. Everyone says Brontodon. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But the Market Gnome wield, what do you know? We should have been in white. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad at you. Oh my god. Absolutely outplayed by my own chat. All right. I'll get the Market Gnome. I think it's excellent. I don't, I, I can't believe it. Cannot believe this haste. Another creature gets haste. I'm a little too good at that, I think. <laughs> good creature gets huge. Deconstruction hammer also seems quite all right. I think I think we're in red white. I think we're in red-white. I, I quite like Glorifier of Suffering. I quite like Glorifier of Suffering. Yeah, white. We're seeing a lot of white come around. I really like these. There's a couple of these 1-1 one, one flyers that are amazing holders of weapons and so on. I think it is between one of those two. All right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get Envoy. Yeah, I, I think that we're solidly... Solidly, um... Red-white. I think. No! Now I say that, and I'm not gonna see another red card ever again, I bet. And this is where I, I just don't know enough about the set to be able to say things like, Ooh, yeah, maybe we should go to other colors and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm just gonna be... Adding in the stuff that makes sense. I think I'm going to get the Panicked Altasaur. I mean, five mana is going to be a little expensive if I'm trying to do anything aggressive, but it's a large body, can deal two damage to the enemy opponent, so I, so I will get it. What does this one do? Oh, that's right. When a target artifact creature with mana value of one or greater shoves it into their library, and that player discovers X. So it's just a swap a Ruha card. All right. We'll get the archaeologists. I don't think I'm super eager to run them. I guess Hidden Volcano. I guess. Might be bad if we're an aggro deck. Might be bad. Is there is there a focus of creature tribes in red white because i know that i know there's dinosaurs i know there's merfolk are there slivers <laughs> can i get some five color slivers deck base red white scry to no this is never getting in there rewarded all right uh it has 
Flying and Vigilance. Tap three untapped artifacts and a creature you control. Put. Whoa! We did, I'm, this is mine. Red, white is bad discovery. <laughs> Still waiting to see if we can get some slivers to wheel. I also think Sunshot Militia was kind of really good. Red, white is slivers tribal. Thanks, F. Gandalf. I, you know, I knew I was a good player. I knew I was. And my face isn't red because I'm blushing with shame for not knowing the set. It's the white balance. That's all it is. Um, so this is where, because I've sort of selected red, white, and I'm learning the set, I sort of am just going to close my eyes and not worry too much about other things. <laughs> Remember when I said I wasn't going to worry about other things, and then I saw a pack that has no white and a single red card? This seems actually all right. Let me think for a moment. I mean, I, I, I guess I guess I just snatched this one up. <laughs> it's just it's the red card. Dire flail. That's a good one. I god I want this iron paw aspirant. So, like, I just want to observe something. So, if we look, we have this soul cleaver. Uh, we have another thing that goes on a creature. So, I, I, I appear to be wanting to be more aggressive. And I have one, two, three inexpensive cards. Whoopsie daisies. So, I mean, something like Dire Flail is cool. It's really great. Um, that one's terrible. That one's, this one's actually all right, but I'm going to go with a Dire Flail. One red and it equips one. I mean, it's just it's just great with all these little tiny dirtlers that I hope to gain. So we really would love cheaper creatures. Yeah, honestly, Volatile Wanderglyph is fine. We just really want to make sure that we have enough inexpensive things to equip with these. Because... From the very small amount of limited stuff that I've seen. Um, it doesn't seem like insanely fast. And if I'm being aggro, just, you know, stacking a creature up with like a dire flail. An Atarian soul cleaver. Could be nice. All right. Well, this this does seem good for us, right? I'm seeing no red white come around this way and a ton of blue. Yeah, I mean this this seems completely fine. What is this? When it enters battlefield, create a one one black bat creature token with flying. Wow, this is literally the best possible card. I didn't even I've never seen this card in my life. This card is perfect for us. Oh my god, look at this! It makes everything plus one, plus oh, and makes a bat that I can equip weapons to? Oh my god, this is going to be a bat holding a spear. I don't believe it. <laughs> All right. You have been mocked. Whenever you discover, discover again for the same value. It triggers once per turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll do this, but like, we don't really have that much... Discovery, probably not running this guy. Kind of don't want to run this one. I have my I have my Atali's favor, which again I really really quite like. Bats don't have hands. Now you might think that this is where is the guy there? Sanguine Evangelist. You might think that this bat doesn't have hands, but remember this is a fantasy bat. It has, it actually has several pairs of hands, so it can both fight and like eat cheeseburgers at the same time. Again, we are really not getting a lot of good stuff. This is great. This is good stuff. Tinker's Tote, two one one colorless gnome artifact creature tokens is, is quite is quite good. This is I really like this card. 
is just two untapped artifacts and or creatures. I I'm really quite a fan of this. None of these are red and white. I'll take Ray of Ruin because that's how I feel internally. Boom Osmond's Dan is an equal opportunity drafter. The Batses can hold the sphere by God will draft it. Yeah, I know, right? This is perfect. It's an artifact creature. It scries. It's a two cost, two two. So let's see here. Um What does this one do? One damage to each enemy creature? Get out of here. Oh, yep. Look, I'm not even going to read these cards. I'm literally not even going to try. There's no reason for me to make an attempt to read the cards. I cannot believe that this made it. All right. Reading is for blockers. Okay. Well, I see, I see the correct colors. Mill two cards, don't even care. What does is, what is Kaparakti Sunborn do? When it attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts and a creature you control if you do discover three. We did it. We did it. I am a Kaparakti gamer. All right, I mean, this is in our colors. It discovers, which we want to do. It's a 4-4 four, for four, four, which is great for beating ass. Oh my god, we got a belligerent yearling. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, other two mana cards I'd be excited about. Iron Paw Aspirant is way up there. One of the reasons why I like this is that if you can get some unusual things like uh, Warden of the Inner Sky or some of the 1-1 one -one flyers, you can just stack counters on them and they're very good at just pecking the opponent out. There's the 1-1 one -one Lifelink flyer and I would really love that one. Whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, deals four damage to them. This is a this is a good card. Hoping that this comes back around again. So I can probably remove this one. I, I always remove my lands until I'm actually at the drafting stage. But this looks like something I would be happy to run. Uh I'm a little concerned looking at this that I. Might need a little bit more interaction. I've been I've been fist pumping about getting all these creatures, but all right. Plus one, plus three gives flying till end of turn. Untap it. Eh. I'm certain this will wheel. I I, I will pick up another sunshot militia. I, I suspect that this is actually quite good. Especially because I'll have uh, weird cards like Tinker's Tote that I can play. It makes the goblins, and then it's just there tapping away. Oh, this is the exile. When there's a battlefield, exile artifact or creature and opponent controls until dusk rose leaves the battle. Oh, there's a braid right there. Never mind. Here's a braid. Look at a braid. <laughs> I can spend three man or two mana to just shoot something, or I can like spend one and sacrifice a thing. And conditionally, it's gone, but it can come back. No, I'll just I'll get the simple card. I am an unsophisticated human. I see a braid. I click a braid. Whenever thousand moons crack shot attacks, you may pay that when you do tap a creature. I think Thousand Moons Crack Shot is better. I think Thousand Moons Crack Shot is where we want to be, I think. I would like this, though. What's Dowsing Device do again? When it enters the battlefield and control up to one turn creature, it gets plus one, plus oh, and gains haste. And then do that if you control four more artifacts. I don't know if it's... Better than just an Iron Paw Aspirant, though. This is this is a great two mana card. 
All right, a bunch of stuff I can't do anything with. What does this do? Has death touch as long as it's your turn. I mean, we I mean, we might we I, maybe you know maybe. How many creatures do we have? One million. I think this card's weirdly good. Part of me wants an ancestor's aid, just to have some more interaction. I'll get Rumbling Rock Slide. <laughs> I'll get the removal that I didn't see. Uh, I'll get Rumbling Rock Slide. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, it is a good day to scry. Alright, let's get out of here. I untap all the time. I love untapping. I love it. <laughs> Arconia27 says, I love you, Day9. You're my favorite StarCraft caster. Thanks, Arconia. Pleasure to have you stop by. Now that you're here, am I your favorite Magic the Gathering drafter as well? Huh? Uh? Huh? All right. I think I think we, we have crudely cobbled together something above average. All right. All right, here we go. What do we do? So let's go ahead and remove a mountain. I don't think we'll need more than 16 lands. Uh, so looking at this, I think that this hot foot gnome probably is a little mediocre. 3-1 haster is eh, this is fine, this is excellent. This is excellent. I think this one is great to have late. Um, Child of the Volcano. This, okay, so I, I like to overcut when I'm unsure what to do. Uh, I want all of these. Iron Paws, great. This is great. Belligerent Yearling, heck yeah. Yeah. I think so, and I think so. All right, so probably not this Hunter's Blowgun. What do we think is the last cut? I, I kind of want this because it's generating so many things that I can tap with the Sunshot Militia. Foxlight doesn't seem as good with 16 lanes. I, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's fine. Intuitively, I'd say, do you need the four mana double discover? Yeah, how many discover cards do we have? Yep, get out of here. <laughs> do I want two rock slides? Yes. I want two rock slides. I want two. I want two. You can't make me not have two. Let me show you why. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. Because I have a little interaction and a little more interaction. These are my interaction cards. This is basically it in terms of interaction. And a braid to blow things up, rumbling rock slide to blow things up, and then it's creature get bigger, creature get bigger, creatures, creature get bigger. And so I, I want to make sure that I don't have like too few ways to clear things out of the way. Hey, Doom Drake, good to see you. Look at that Look at that beautiful VIP icon next to your name. Double Helix Chicken Extreme says, Hey, Nine. I was thinking, just for giggles, and considering the strict backseating policy on the channel, would it be fun one day to do a Day9 backseat stream where chat just gets to backseat to their heart's content and we get to enjoy the chaos that will inevitably ensue? There could even be polls or something. Like, imagine doing a Banish playthrough just to watch everything go to complete shit. Maybe fun? Everyone, I have good news. Tell me exactly what to do. It's backseating time. Double Helix Chicken Extreme, your wish is my command immediately for like five minutes or something. Do it. Um, 
Now, I want to stress there's a second piece to this, which is I might not listen to any of you. But I want to let you know <laughs> that is a satisfier of wishes. That's right. Move over, Santa. You know, that's the name of this. Move over, Santa. There it is. High in my wish-giving castle, upon my wish-giving throne, I grant to you the opportunity to backseat me and me the ability to fucking ignore everything you say. I love being atop my throne. I didn't realize this castle was so cozy to sit in. All right, move over, Santa. Okay, I think this is it. Let's go ahead and create a little poll here. Uh, manage prediction, start a prediction. How many wins am I going to get? Uh, this is where the believers can lose points and the people that accurately estimate my drafting abilities can win points saying I'll probably go two and three. Yeah, dude, Inaluki says red, white, Santa. Yeah, no, do you see it? I'm like, I'm like so clever. Like I have red, white cards. Santa wears red, white clothes. And very likely like a blue fong. You know, just that pop of contrast. Oh. Oh, Santa. This is this is a terrific starting hand. Jim Drake says, nice to be back once again. Had a blast hosting my local pre-release this weekend. 60 players a day is stressful, but it's oh so fulfilling. Hope you have a blast with the set. It seems to be pretty good. I, I, dude, that's that's wonderful that you are putting together things like that. Because, like, here's the thing. I, I kind of believe that there's been too much focus in the last, like, five, uh, ten years of how do we make eSports the biggest thing ever? How do we get people out of the chair in their home looking at a stream on a monitor and we get them to sit in a stadium and watch a stream on a monitor? <laughs> it's just like all this stuff. All right, so this is tap three untapped artifacts and or creatures you control. Put a thing on me. Yeah, I'll do that. So I will tap these three. Then we'll get to scry twice because the attentive sky warden lets me scry. And then the warden of the inner sky lets me scry. Oh my god, my cards are so good. We are. We are getting huge. Not as huge as we're going to get becoming power hot Sean Plot in one year's time. All right, Sun Coil Viper. Oh, uh, well, that's a little awkward. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Capricotti, very naughty, uh, Sunborn. And we're just going to accept another damage. I don't think I actually want that. Let's scry again. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that. Running a little bit low on red sources, but I like to live life on the edge. I think the Soul Coil Viper is insanely good. Stupendously good. So again, I, I do believe we just we just eat the damage. So, so, this is Discover 3. So, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to attack with this. We're going to go tap, tap. So, that will discard stuff until we can get the Sanguine Evangelist. Oh my god. Scry one. You know what? I do want the red mana now. I used to not, but I badly do now. Um, so I think we'll... I kind of want to leave up this abrade. Beginning of your end step. So this is sorcery speed, so I'm just going to cast it on the Scythe Claw Raptor. It, it's the one that actually scares me. It's the one that is... Proverbially shivering me timbers. 
So, do I want to go for this now? Yeah. So, I've done this tap. So now this is flying and it has vigilance. And we are representing a very scary attack. We'll have five mana, a braid is two mana, the dire flail equipping it is also just two mana. So we can likely just blast through for the win here. We also have the option to a braid to clear a thing and pay the thousand moons crack shot to clear a thing. Beefy says, I don't know how to overcome the pressure of the high stakes 1500 gem entry fee this first week. You'd be like me, and I'm like, I'm trying to lose weight, so I have to cook this healthy, inexpensive meal. I'll buy a bunch of video games. You see that? That's like that's like the Indiana Jones just like swapping the purchasing out. <laughs> I'll take physiological pleasure for mental and emotional pleasure. Okay, so I I, I think villain. You, you dare attack me? Does this tur is this turkey just dead? No. Uh uh. I mean, let's see here. So this would be five in the air, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I figured it out. I figured it out. All I had to do was be quite, quite mediocre at math. We're gonna kill the Soul Coil Viper. We swing with everyone. Trigger, 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 trigger. I do wish to pay that. So you tap. Goes to the bottom. Daisy Cutter says, math degree getting a workout? Indeed. Mathematically speaking, 21 is oftentimes bigger than 15. This is where someone is like, Sean, that was 23 damage. And I'm like, indeed, twice. All right. Move over, Santa. Day 9, the gift giver is here. If any of you want a backseat, again, go right ahead. We granted that gift earlier. Not that we listened to a fucking word you said, but we were, you know, we, we gave it to you. <laughs> it's it's kind of a it's kind of a bad gift. It's like if you asked for a bicycle and I gave you a bicycle, but it was made of poison. Um. <laughs> oh, not another poison bicycle! How does it even work? You like squeeze on the brake and like a little needle goes into your hand, and you're like, oh, I got poisoned. <laughs> Mulligan, definitely. I hope you're enjoying back seating, murder holes. Okay, so let's put this down and probably, I think probably the Attentive Sunscribe is the right one to place down. That audio is weird, right? Nothing makes that noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, I'm an acolyte of Aquazots. Oh, dude, I have not been playing Magic lately. I have just not been playing Magic lately at all, have I? Wow. So let me let me go ahead and swing in, because we get a free scry here. Uh, I will take a, an additional land, because the envoy of Okanek Ahau. Ahau. How do I... How do letters work? I want to put it on this, so that way I can Atali's favor on the envoy. Well, I'm literally changing my mind. Pathfinding Axe Jaw is a good card. We'll play this and Rumbling Rock Slide to get this one out of the picture immediately. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, no, no, dude. Wizard, Wizard Styles for the last, like, six months, I have played very little limited magic. I, I've played a good amount of Constructed. I've been really enjoying Constructed ever since the World Championships happened. There's, <laughs> can I just say, it's so funny to me that these, these still are the noises in magic. There's like 11 audio effects, and anytime they put a new creature in there, they're like, all right, what sort of sound do we want the creature to make? And they're like, well, I, I think we have a we have a giant robotic golem looking thing, perhaps, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. We have another 250 cards to go. All right, so I am going to, Uh, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that, that should be good. I don't know if there is a two mana black removal. I, I don't know if there is in this set. And a great way to find out is to just make the play and get owned. Market gnome. That is a terrific card. Hey, look! Like I said, it's the same noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, of course, anything that's kind of like, you know, kind of a jerk-looking guy, you just get you just hit it with a... Alright. Do, 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 do. Do some of this. Yo, this is, this is some good stuff. Don't need any more mana. Don't need any more mana. Dude, I want I want that. I want that battle cry gamer again. I want that guy to slam down. Another Pathfinder. Is untapped up? It should be. It should be, is it not? I mean like I, I have it open. I All right, this is, this is where I need to interrupt myself to see if there's an extension, my extensions. It says it's on. All right, maybe it just doesn't have the new cards set up. Fooey. Drat. Darn. Uh. Okay, we'll play this guy. Here, let me. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna employ an incredible technique, which is to close it and open it up again. Something was shot. Who was shot? Oh my my guy, my warden of the inner sky. Oh no. So let's see, so how do we want to do this? So I think what I want to do, tap two untapped ones. So I'll I'll have this and my attentive sunscribe tap. These ones will stay back for just a moment. Don't do that. And I'm gonna change my untapped settings again, arena. Let's let's try this. Oh, this, this is this overlay. So I want to leave back the market gnome. We can block the pathfinding axe jaw. And I think we chill. I think we're overall in a better position thanks to this and this. Alright, so this, 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 this was not working. Is this hold on? Wait. Is this is this the button that you want me to do? Hmm. I can't figure out why it's not showing up. I can't figure it out. I I I, I see villain highly valuing these pathfinding axe jaws. I, I think these cards are terrific. I really like that. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's it's this guy. It works now? 
Really? It works? I didn't do anything at all. I love when stuff happens that way. I wish that's how taxes worked. I'm gonna continue to just tap this pair. Don't need that. Oh, Morn, you said it works now, and then you and then you type er. Maybe you were bouncing over the same card as me for a second. Oh, I hate when I do nothing and it doesn't work. Hate this. X equals seven is a lot of X. Not to fear, the Sunshot Militia shall ransack the enemy one damage at a time. Oh, all right, Pathfinding Axe Draw. This is only a sorcery? All right. Gain a life draw card. Dire Flail's pretty good. All right. So, do I trade this? This is... I don't have enough mana. How do I do this? I, I think I actually leave this guy back to generate tokens. Oh, yo, I can just tap this. Dude, that is broke N. Holy, oh my god. So hold on, I think I actually want the Attentive Scribe to turn sideways, though. Do I want that? Probably not. One of our removals would be good. Bang! Uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I have no, I have no issues just being a person that sits at home. Sits at home just waiting. Ah, uh, no attacks. I will I will shoot you again just to just just once more before the turn is done. This guy represents so much damage, just a jap tap two of them? This card is dumb good. I thought it was like kind of sneakily, like above average, but this card rips and it slaps. Exile buried treasure from your graveyard. Discover five. Uh oh. He looking. Hey, it's our favorite sound effect again. Mill two cards. Return to graveyard. Church from graveyard to your hand. I mean that that smells like a desperate gamer. Our opponent has a lot of different colors going on here. Okay, so these two. You mean, part of me thinks that we can actually just ping our opponent to death, little by little. Yeah, because I mean, this, th this envoy is, hey, it's our favorite sound effect again. Huh. How do I do that? So I think I play this, and I do this. I think this is it. <laughs> that, that audio is it's still quite funny. 
Okay, so I'm gonna tap this and this, so then I get to scry and scry. All right, seems good. No, don't need any more of that. No, don't need any more of that. Bang. Now I'm tempted to craft this with one of these in the grave. Swing with this, tap these two. Does that does that potentially screw me? How much do, they actually have a good amount of damage on the swing back? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, and I also can't afford to craft and equip. All right, well, sometimes you're terrible. That's just what happens. All right, Operation Bing Bong. Bing Bong commence. So this is Exile. Exile's card turn transformer is under control. So if it transforms, it's still, it exiles, so it unequips from the creature. And so it comes back, it's not attached to a creature. Is that right? Is that right? That's, that's, that's concerning. Having lifelink is an issue. But the Sunshot Militia making quite the splash in his debut. <laughs> quite an impressive gamer. Yeah, I, I, I have heard, I think it was Deathsea, talk about this card being insanely, insanely good. Oh, oh, my love, my love. So we have two, four, six. So we can, we can deal three damage. Well, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I actually think the Sunshot Militia might just like win the game for us. I mean, he, do, he does appear to be the most powerful gamer, yo. Okay, okay, I, I I think I know how I want to do this. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to have the Dire Flail craft with Artifact. I'm going to craft it with this one in the graveyard. Okay. So it's crafted. Has an equip cost of one. I equip it to this turkey. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing with this turkey. Consider yourself swung. Whenever it attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts, creatures you control. That resolves first. Tap, tap. Congratulations, Volatile Wanderglyph. You've done it. A braid is it, baby. That is it. Want that. Sack an artifact. So we shoot the life linker. We get a counter on nothing. <laughs> this card is... This card is pretty good. Holy. All right. This is the game. Dude, I gotta get this thing equipped. So. So. 
So if we don't die on this turn, we probably should. So this is 6 and 5 is 11 damage. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to assume we're fine. Because assumptions are a great way to get ahead. Agarnar says, my gracious overlord, Sean, the Day 9 plot. Hello. Would you grant this lowly servant his wish of you being on full screen, narrating a turn of magic and do the sound effects? As it would truly be a joyous occasion. Thrashing Brontodon? All right, let me go on full screen and begin by... Oh, fuck. It's a Thrashing Brontodon. Plundering Pirate? I'm not worried about that. You can't tell what the card is because they all make the same sound effects. Okay. So, Villain is doing nothing, but I sense that Villain is in a state of internal crisis. We are hoping to maybe win. He sacrificed the thing. He's got he's got the counter. Zoom way in. I don't know how to do it on this camera, Tompa. Wait a minute. He's swinging in with a 6-6 six, six and a 5-4. 1, 2, 3. Okay, hold on. I'm counting. He, I have 16 health. He's swinging for 11. This is very tense. My viewership's dropping. This is, this is dangerous, Agarnar. Uh, so I'm going to do... Is this treasure? They're asking you to do the sound effects? What do you want from me? What is this? Do, doing the sound effects is we truly joyous occasion. Sound effects is going to sound a lot like me crying. One, two, three. Hold on. I need to do mathematics. So I think I just don't block this. Because I'm brave. Five attackers. A braid is good. You can sack this and they can gain. Um. I think I need to be really careful. So, I mean, I, I can just tap these two for free. I'm going to start with that. This is, this is probably the best play, is to make a big Envoy. I think this is probably right. Yeah. So now Villain is like, whoa, I gotta kill this thing. Artifact or creature. Look at this. Look at that. This guy, remember, does have, does have Trample. So if I swing with this guy, that'll do it. Yep, there it is. Okay. That's tough. Made a mistake. This can still sack. 
No, never mind. We're fine. Really? You're going to let that? Okay, sure. So now we get one damage in. Okay, so we, we, we should be good. This is this is this is quite close. Both swing. So we need to double chump in some way. This is the way. I think. Gross. Where were you last turn? You turkey. Okay, so... Okay. Has to be blocked. Has vigilance. Yeah, so I'm going to swing with both. Is that right? Yeah. Auto pay. Tap this guy. Yeah, gotta block that. Don't you dare ever do anything again. This this game. Woo! There it is. Ooh, this is this is a dramatic game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes. Victory. This I mean this looks not trample though. Not trample. Thank the stars. See the problem is that because well, I should say the problem for villain is that because we can make villain tap or because we can tap one of villain's uh, creatures. I also only have seven cards left in hand. They're in a bit of a pickle when it comes to the crackback. So there's a couple ways that they can lose this. And we'll choose one of them. <laughs> you see, at the cash register, I can pay with cash card or I can simply steal this bagel. There's a lot of options before me. So there is no way for my opponent to deal with all of our threats because in short, if they do nothing, we swing, we tap one thing, and then we win the video game. This is the sweetest way to possibly win though, so I'm gonna do this. I mean, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> I told you there were a lot of ways. We chose to steal the bagel. A clean win. Ah, yes. It's me. Day 9 the Parasite, subsisting deep in the bowels of Bronze League. Yes. Feed me your points. Oh, wait, I gotta... Oh, hold on, hold on. I just remembered, because Ghost Stalker has been pinging me regularly, that I need to turn off magic, I need to turn it back on again. Here it is. Exit game. Do you want to exit? Yeah, I love exiting. And then I'm going to reopen it. Oh my god. Closing something and reopening it? IT people. You guys must have the best lives. All right. And we are entering. All right. Play. Events. Resume.
Dude, that plus one, plus one equip pumper was out of control because, truth be told, I, I misread the ever-living shit out of it when I first saw it. Oh my god, my princess, hello. I love you. Do you wanna do you wanna come to the lab? Alright. Echo of Dusk is is not is not great for us. I'll probably just play the attentive sunscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love you so much. Okay, wait, what is what is this absolute turkey doing? A lot, of, a lot of walk for a short drink of water. Yeah, do, oh, do you want to hear her meow again? Despy 2 has come to love the car wash. How you doing? Yeah, here, I can rub your chin. Don't worry, I can rub the chins. We can do the chinny rubs. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. I'll do some checks later. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably after this draft, Ghosty, I'll try to figure out what's going wrong with um, the the extension. Dude, every single thing in this set. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's got one mean ace. Dude, Dynamaton. Hot damn. Hot dino. So, do I actually want to flail this thing? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep building the board. Bye. I'm going to tap this and this, and we're just going to see what we get. Don't need more of those. All right, so we got a lap cat. Good, good kitten. Do I even want to swing with this thing. I think I'm gonna chill for now. I think I chill. I don't have a lot of cards in hand. Villain has a billion. All right, here you go. This is this is her favorite. When I when I cross my legs, I got one knee up. And then she can dig her claws in happily. Iron Paw Paw. Okay, so if I Iron Claw Aspirant onto... Yeah, I think this, I think this seems like the build. Meow! Meow! Um... Five, six, seven, eight. I'm one short of what I actually really want to do. So I, I, I am going to play this land, much to my chagrin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap the scribe. Is that good? No, I'm going to go ahead and chuck that. Ah. All right, Operation Bing Bong. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We we are literally having one of our platinum tier luxury laps. Yo, I am I am going to lose to these Altasaurs for sure. I like that Villain did it on their turn. That's great. Absolutely dredging down in Bronze League. This is this is a disgusting draw. Ow, ow. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Baby. You're too happy. You're just too happy. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but sometimes my pets are just, they're just too happy. I know, I know. Don't chew her mouth. No! No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, her claws are digging deep into my body! Oh. Oh my god, look at these. Sorcery speed altasaur taps. Yes. Is it rock slide? <laughs> okay, so many of you know I like to append a clock, you know? Like, is it iron paw o'clock? And my brain almost said, without thinking, is it rumbling rock slide, a cock slide? And I realized that that just does not communicate a period of time. Um, so let's, let's first ping this. We are worried about a crack back, so let's go ahead and that's return tap. Yeah, it's an entirely different thing. It's, it's, hey everyone, you know what time it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, so now with this run out, I'm going to swing with this. I'm going to tap this guy and I think this, totally fine. I'm absolutely drooling looking at the time. It's rock slide or cock slide. <laughs> yeah, get him out of there. What? What does this card do? Oh my god. Uh, what do we want to equip this on? Bruce Maltz says, as you can see, you've come at a completely normal time. I know, I was just talking about what time it was. You would not believe what this watch has instead of Roman numerals. <laughs> God, I want my opponent to just lose. Doesn't my opponent know what time it is? <laughs> Doesn't my opponent ever look down? says it's cock slide o'clock. You know what's amazing about YouTube? As long as I didn't say cock slide in the first 90 seconds of the upload, it's just like, yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, that's not demonetized. But if I if I like start my my YouTube video and I'm like, hey everyone, I'm really excited. Oh fuck, look what we opened in pack one. It's like children shouldn't watch this and this man shouldn't earn money. Um okay so this is four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11. No trample. Is this the game? So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. This is it. This is the game. This has lifelink. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, that's it. This, this is it. This is the game. I don't know why I'm actually blocking like that. If you descended this turn. Heals to 18. Swing for. And I even counted wrong again. It's incredible. Excellent. Villains falling left and right. Bronze League is no match for the intellect of Day 9. Not even Santa Claus can grant wishes like I can grant for all those gamers that believed in me. All right.
right. Warden of the Inner Sky. I'm actually pretty pleased with this with this deck we've built. I'm pretty pleased. Dude, the 1-3 where you tap two creatures to commence Operation Bing Bong on their forehead? I played a second white mana! Oh my god, I'm so bad! Oh god, why'd I play the second white mana? I, I have a red mana right here. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, Ickums. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. I look so stupid. I hate looking stupid. I belong in Bronze League. I am not a parasite of Bronze League. I am the bowels themselves. I hate this game. I don't believe it. Dinosaur? Fighting another dinosaur? What's the world come to? Market Gnome is an unbelievable card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I actually think this is as good a turn as any to do this, because we're going to scry. We're going to scry. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still in such agony. That was just a misclick. Why the big reaction? What do you mean, why the big reaction? Because I'm trying to get this thing activated, and I missed a turn. I'm an aggro deck, and I didn't play a card on turn two. What, am I going to not play a card on turn two as an aggro deck and be like, I feel great. I feel terrific. You know what? You know what? I've been practicing a lot of self-care, and you know what? I love myself after that mistake still. No, not a chance. My entire identity is tied up in the performance of this draft. Okay, when when it's Quinth, firstborn of Gishath, enters the battlefield. You pay two. When you do, target dinosaur you control deals damage equal to its power to another target creature. Holy shit. Oh, thank God I can just abrade that dinosaur. Everything's going according to plan. Oh, and it has haste too? Yo, this this card's this card's actually this card's nutty. Continue to turn sideways, don't need that. No attacks. Sally's Lore Keeper. What does this do? Man of any color. Only do dinosaurs. Ugh. Pathfinding Axe Jaw. Wait, I, I have not actually looked at this card. <laughs> he's got a... He's got a miner's headlamp. And on his chest... By the way, someone else had to put that chest lamp on. He can look down at things and go, Well, can't pick that up. <laughs> with, his, with his sad, tiny little arms. All right, so do I block here, or do I go for the exchange? I think I just do this and accept. All right, well, that sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shit. Oh my god. Alright. One time. One time. That's good. It's not great, but it's something. Vigilance flying is pretty good. I can't block the axe jaw. Uh, so the axe jaw is going to bring us down to three. Which is terrible. Don't do it. Ah, why would he do the most logical thing? Oh, hell yeah. Villain didn't kill us. Nice. I don't know if there is a single thing that we can do... Don't activate that. Why, why did I have to talk up this deck before losing? Alright, let's see if Fought figures out 
that if they swing out, I'm probably dead. Oh my god, who thinks, huh? Who are these thinkers trying so hard in bronze? It's pathetic, really. Oh, these don't have trample anymore. I love my life. I'll kill this. I'll kill this. Go ahead and devour that. Exchange there and do this. Yeah, this is the game. Oh, someone make you a mistakey. Wait. There's a card in hand. Are they going to cast something? No! I'm a fool! <laughs> but I gain one life. It's okay. It's okay. We deserve to lose. Thought was the better player in that game. But I still think I'm the better player overall. And I'd like to give a shout out to Dan Dagan, who was... Kind of curious why we were shrieking at the top of our lungs after misplaying on turn two. Well, there you go. We died by two health in that situation. If we had played that, we could have had options to trade. We could certainly avoid another four damage. And that's why every time I've ever freaked out ever was justifiable. Except in college when my crush said no. Everything I did then is really something I will never live down. Hey. E.T. Gnome Home. Uh, I guess I'll just Iron Paw Aspirant myself. Meow. That sounded bad. Yeah. Yeah. As long as an artifact enters the battlefield under your turn. Yeah. So, I, I just, I love Itali's favor. Oh, beautiful. Isn't she a beauty? Gotcha. Yeah, no. I was actually... I, I was reminiscing with one of my friends the other day. He's gonna tap me? What a loser. This guy's trying way too hard. Um, So, here, I actually think it is a good opportunity to just... Say goodbye to the Market Gnome. Redraw. I mean, it's doing its duty. This does appear to be a bit of a slower deck, so this seems like a fine play as any to make. I will play the Kaparakti Sunborn. But yeah, I, I was I was, I was, was joking around with one of my friends. Uh, hold on, let me just type this. Yes, you. I, I was joking around with one of my friends the other day about like how in college, I was just so, so absolutely entranced by this girl and I just did not know really anything about her I just you know it was one of those it was one of those kind of kind of crushes where you just went into class one semester and you're like oh her that's she's the one I will just impart upon her all of these identities that make her perfect for me Felicity oh of course you know it was Felicity man Okay. Ooh, this is actually quite bad for us. The Guardian of the Great Door. So let's see if I can do this correctly. And of course I can. I'm day nine. So I'm going to play the Glorifier of Suffering. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this artifact, which allows me to put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Do I want it on the little turkey? I, I think I should just want it on the Iron Paw. And then what we're going to do is we are going to attack with this, and we're going to tap these... This gives me Goblin Tomb Raider. Double blocks, not a chance. I will go ahead and play this Sunshot. Dome them for another one. But oh my god, I was so into her. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, you're the one! Oh! What? God, who are, who are these gamers? That, who are these just absolute haters here? Okay, so let me see. We have the Sanguine Evangelist. Do I just swing out? I think I just commence Operation Kill This Guy, huh? 
I mean, it does look good for us. Everyone, hold hold on that story. Hold on that story. We'll, we'll finish it between games. So we're going to attack with these. It's great. Gain a life and draw a card. I will tap the two things that can't block to shoot villain in the face. And right now we have two, four, six, eight total creatures that we can tap. So villain is close to death. All right, just something's happening here. Dire flail, really? All right, very well. Tap this. Tap this. Tap this. I don't think blue-white is good at dealing 16 damage in a single turn. I guess I'll equip this on the bat. Because like I said, this bat has hands. Hands enough to hold a dire flail and eat a cheeseburger at the same time. Yeah, explore away. I'm gonna turn my guys sideways. Dude, the Sunshot Militia. This card is actually so good. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh. Praise the sun. Look at Erudition on my side. Yeah. But dude, man, I was... <laughs> yeah, like, you, m many of you are going to make fun of me for this, but you know what? That's fine. You can you can try your hardest. I won. Of course, I had a good time. You can try your hardest. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But there was this girl. I thought she was the one in college. She's like, oh my god. Oh, she's it. I Do we have anything in common? No. Uh, do we even talk that much? Uh -uh. But of course, I had imagined quite a future for us together. And, <laughs> and, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this, right? She had a boyfriend. Dun, 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 dun. So, of course, of course, I just, I just, I just slunk along the shadows like Gollum in the first Lord of the Rings movie. Just like peeking up over a rock. Because like, ah, ah. think of that, like, there, there's that kind of guy who's like, he's bad for her, right? What I tend to do is just go... This fucking sucks, and just not do anything about it, except pine. And of course, when there's no action to take, and I have a few free hours, I may as well again imagine our eventual future together. Um, so, <laughs> so eventually, she and this boyfriend break up. <gasps> oh my god. And I think she's interested in me. <gasps> oh! And you're gonna love this. She messaged me. Via the sexiest application at the time. AOL Instant Messenger. We're flirting, or at least I thought it was. It's basically a random Markov chain coming out of my mouth at that point. But um, she's like, hey, do you want to hook up? And uh, I just didn't really do anything at that point. I didn't say yes, I didn't say no, I just didn't do anything. Because things that's the wrong order for things. We're supposed to like first begin dating and fall in love. Because remember we're going to be together forever. Like, why would you begin, like, you know. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, uh, and I just kind of, like, didn't address it. I just kind of like, you know, that's weird. There's just some text here that I can't seem to see. And I just keep going. She kind of blew right past that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely I did. <laughs> and you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. This is actually the funniest part of the story. <laughs> she... Like a month later, got a new boyfriend. And I was like, oh no! <laughs> oh my god, how did this happen to me? I mean, in 
absolute fumble. It's just incredible. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not broken up about it cuz you know, I still don't really know anything about her, right? Again, this is an entirely fabricated crush. <laughs> I decided I was in love. Love is one decision and a few hours away from coming to reality. No, the GeForce game driver already is available. Get out of here. NVIDIA, exit. I don't want your updates. Uh, okay, that's actually kind of helpful. You know, since I am... I'm feeling like I'm going to be a little slow out the gate this game, so I'd rather play the Iron Paw Aspirant, because if villain swings with the attendant Sunscribe, I don't want to, like, trade Sunscribes. Clutch the loss from the Jaws of Victory. I know, I know, I know. Oh, this card is just insane. Oh my god, I'm horrified to see Abuelo here. So, we're going to do a change of plans. We're going to play the Warden. We're going to play the Belligerent Yearling. And we're just going to activate the Warden right away. I think we have to begin doing this. Because I, I, I played against Abuelo. And Abuelo just gobbles up value so much. I mean, it is. All right. Petrify? Oh my God, you absolute. Ugh! I'm so mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's texting her now. Yeah, no, I'm picking up my phone. I have your number memorized. I haven't forgotten you. And you know what? I'm glad we never hooked up. She's like, who is this? And I just would throw a smoke bomb and poof into the night. Um, okay, so we can still scry with this. You know, I, I think I'm actually just going to abrade right now. Yes, I want to abrade. Yes, I will pay to 100%. And I, I think that right now, I want to slow my opponent down a bit. So I want to try to begin, up, begin building value on the board. I don't want them to get free attendant sunscribe swings. I, I, I like how this is turning out. It's turned out a lot... Oh, dude, this guy. This thing is such a weird-looking card. So one of the benefits here is I can... Wait, this? It can't activate its abilities? Blech. Okay, so I need one more land, and then I can pop the Hoverstone Pilgrim. I can mm, pop... We are hosed. All right, I guess I'll just do this. Immense Operation Bing Bong. I really don't need more planes. I really don't need this. All right, Air Daddy says, haven't been able to tune in as much lately, but hope all's well, Sean. New set looks fun. It's, it's pretty fun. Cyanide Valentine says, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think Villain has stabilized against the aggro deck. It's, it is appearing that way. This little Hoverstone Pilgrim is just a goofy looking card, but I, I actually think it's quite, quite solid. But Villain doesn't deal a lot of damage. In addition, we don't deal a lot of damage. I swear to God, why do I keep getting lands? Kaka. So, I mean, we can do some damage on a follow-up swing. It's amazing how much worse our draft goes when we don't get those little 1-3s. What 
this? Oh, a 3-3. Three, three. Careening minecart. So I think the Pilgrim is going to be just doing his Pilgrim stuff. We're dead in five turns. Six turns. Sorry, Bat. Didn't mean to be rude and forget about you. So let us count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So they have to block one thing. So what is what is the right thing to do? I think I do this first to see if we can get an abrade an or... No, I cast a braid. Yeah, there's nothing that helps us here, huh? Yes, the Sunshot Militia. Never mind. Day 9 has arrived with a solution to end all solutions. But I, I, I legitimately think that this play is going to be good. Watch this. Here it comes. One, two, three. Look at that. Found the play. Don't need that. And then I can maybe uh, do some Sunshot Militia-ing. I, I mean, <laughs> my opponent's name is Darth Mendez. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, you can do that. You can scry, but everything deals three or more damage. Oh, the Sanguine Evangelist doesn't buff itself? Oh, I've, I've been not paying attention to that for a long time. Dies, sure. And then it's going to be some sort of trade, because right now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So they have to sacrifice another one. Holy water jug, Batman. That's right, I have a whole jug of water. So much water. I'm so hydrated. Certainly more hydrated than you. I aspire every day to be the most hydrated man on Earth. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drooling. Because I'm salivating at the thought of hydrating even more. That. Dude, Sunshot Militia is just nasty. Now, this is, this is certainly risky. Oh my god, a map token? No, come on, how could you do this? Don't, no, don't explore. Please. Please don't explore. You're killing me. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have eight. I thought I did it. What is this? The game was in the bag if we didn't ping you. I thought it was in the bag. Oh, wait, I still have a bat. Don't worry, I have the bat. The bat's not tapped. Okay, I did. I am good at the video game. That's right. I'm the best player you've ever seen. All right, hold on. Yeah, all right. Yes. Ah, oh, time to take a sip directly from my water barrel. I truly am the most hydrated man on earth. <laughs> That, 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 like, that, that little pinging guy is so good. Wow. I can't believe you wanted me to say barrel when I have a water barrel here. Literally, you just, you're just doing word associates. You just saw a barrel and you just typed a barrel. Like, I don't, I mean, that's crazy. Like, I'm, I will win that every day of the week. Ah, uh, this is kind of an awkward hand. But um, as an awkward human, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to shy away from challenge. Oh my God, Tarion, Tarion, Soul Cleaver. All right. Oh my God, I have a Warden of the Inner Sky, and they don't have any cards. Watch this. Warden of the Inner Sky. Sunshot Militia. T this. Tap, tap, tap. Turn it sideways. 
I want that land. Joe Darko says, so in a better mood today? Yeah, look how good I am at the video game. <laughs> I'm, I'm awesome. Oh man, if I lost this, then no, I'd be, I'd be honestly devastated. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be fucked up. All right, six wins, kicking him in the shins. Oh, 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 that clarifies it. That clarifies it. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be careful with one word in caps. Thousand moons crack shot. I think I think we chuck this back, because I can cast none of the good stuff. Hang on to this, because it's only the good stuff. Volatile Wanderglyph says goodbye. Because as I'll admit, you pouring from that jug while hilarious is stress-inducing. I should have visions of you having a muscle spasm and water going all over the desk and into your PC. It's nothing my PC hasn't experienced on a regular clip my entire life. What does this say? While burning sun cavalry attacks or blocks while you control the dinosaur. Oh, so it's so it's just it's a it's a dino sweller is what it is. So, I don't think there's a one-mana deal two spell, so I'm going to Itali's favor, and I'm just going to see what we get. I think that this is probably the best. That, I mean, that's just the, the, an absolute god-tier pull. By the way, yeah, 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 yeah. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> Ed, it's great to see you. Ed, this draft is great. This one's going on YouTube. Cut all other content. Faust the Kai. Hey, Faust, it's good to see you, man. It's a 30 day project. Build an optimal water delivery device for day nine with some tech to monitor hydration levels. You, you do what the vet does when you take your cat in, where they like pull up on the nape of the cat's neck and they just see how long the skin folds back down. I, I think that this, the, the turgidity of day nine is looking excellent. Okay, so we have literally too many good plays to do. Okay, so I will equip this onto this. I will be an abrasive person. If it's a stream, we can see your turgidity. Yeah, I just like I just like pull up on stuff. Oh no! It's an artifact. I'm so bad. Yeah, I think I need to go to five here. I need to go to four here. Uh, land off the top would be appealing to us. We're going to go ahead and sacrifice the Tinker's Tote. Then we're going to put counters on these guys. This guy has it all. Is that really two of braids? Oh man, I want two of braids. I want two of braids. I, don't, I have one of braid in my list. This absolutely sucks ass. Fine. Fine. Is this pronounced schnank time? Did I just get schnanked? Yeah, let me tell you something. We got absolutely destroyed. After that, I'm worried about my turgidity. <laughs> Completely schnanked. Dude, I tried to part my hair one way today, and it's not normally the way I part it. And like, I, I'll, I'll be honest, like, I am malfunctioning. Like, cause I, I, I didn't realize how often I just like fiddled with my head. <laughs> I 
I hope Zihanort messes up very badly and loses and upset about it. I'm ready to kick Zihanort while they're down. That's what I'm eager to do. Burning Sun Cavalry just lost to this one. Thrilled to see it. Um, so, I think I should just be waiting for value here. Because uh, I had the choice to play the slightly bigger card without the upside or the slightly smaller card. Both of which would allow me to do this. And I, I think it's good to do it like this. Oops. I think the, the order that we're doing this in is good. Are you kidding me? That's an insane pull. What? Everything is a disaster. So 14. So, I mean, I certainly will be playing this Scythe Claw Raptor. I certainly will be going 1, 2, 3 again. That's perfect. I'm gonna puke. Oh, this is this is actually totally fine. I mean, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take two. I mean, this, this is actually. I'm prepared to suffer. So, um, I think first things first. I'm gonna play the attentive sun scribe, and I'm gonna have this guy tap both. I want to see what's on the top of my list. Rumbling Rock Slide, totally fine. I'm gonna play this guy. Decline. So this is whenever that enters the battlefield, you can do some dank stuff. Okay, that seems fine. See what's coming up. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah. Whoops. That's my alarm to remind all of you to do DK30, which is already happening. Why would I remind you to do something that's done? Lee G. Lee G. How is the... Okay, now, now, what on earth is this? Wow, that is a nasty little card. Nasty little card. It is a good day to scry. Oh, a braids. Uh, I don't know if any of you know, but my dear friend Lee Grainer has opened up a creative consultancy business. So if you're interested in hiring Lee to help with creative projects, ow. I think I just want to shoot this, but alas, I shan't. You can actually go to LeeGrainer.com. Book a meeting with her. Even does free consultation for initial things. When it enters the battlefield, discover three. Gross. This card is excellent. Let me put a stop here and see what happens. Hope it's something terrible. Another? Oh, this is actually kind of cool because this gets cast. One of them has to go to the graveyard. And now I can actually abraid this one. Taking it off. Wow, that, that went terribly for them. And great for me. The only person I care about. Need to keep pinging these. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Armored Kin Collar is just... Oh my god, an axe jaw. Gross. So if I swing with this guy, I'll probably just get double blocked and be devastated. Sanguine Evangelist is nice. So yeah, let me go... Let me go tap. Tap, like this. Dire Flail's actually pretty insane here. We're, we're kind of getting there. 
we're kind of vaguely getting there. So I'm going to do like this, because I obviously don't want to lose this character here. My assumption is that villain is going to do some shenanigan right here. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna attack like this. I'm gonna tap these two Brandos. Not great, but it is what it is. Yeah, double block here is, I think, as ideal an outcome as we can hope to have, certainly. Is that the way, is that, is that how we want this? Let's just see what happens, let's see what they do. Part of me thinks we just go to three here. Oh my god, my opponent blinked. My opponent has fear. Something, something, something. The mind killer. That? Iron Paws. Nice here. I, I think I'm okay sacking the Sanguine Evangelist here. Oh my god, I hate Brontodons. What a, what a powerful Brontodon. So, they have a lot of trample in this. I think I just sack... Actually, double blocking here would be would be quite good, right? That's the war. Oh my god, I just how am I this bad? What a misplay! Oh my god, I have fed. Alright. God, it's it's hard being this bad at this game. This is an emergency. I'm just doing this. I'm falling apart, Lisa. Alright, so it goes on the bat. Dude, that, I mean, this is... We're, we're, we're doing stuff here. We're doing stuff. Wow, that was such a throw. Oh, my God. Here I was, wishing ill on Zihanort. What does this do? Distribute three plus one plus one counters? What? Oh my god, we are so close. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We're close to winning, and I need to be dialed in. Quite concerned about trample. Oh, we win. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. They exploded. That's the best news I've ever had. Yeah. All right. I'm good at this video game. Uh, did I have fun? You know what? I believe in chaos. This is my sad face. Oh, that was awesome. Terrific. Amazing. Look at that, I threw in the game and I won the game. You're right, Cold Dracon. I'm amazing, man. My poor, innocent opponent. My poor opponent was just... They were just having a nice, chill day. She wanted to play some magic. You know, I'm imagining they're... Like, have you seen those videos of the capybaras that, like, get into the baths? Where there's, like, little oranges, like, floating around and there's steam coming out and they're just bathing? 
I just put two fingers on the head of the cap bar and I just like pushed it right under there. I was like, man, I want this seven win in this video game, man. That person's relaxing day is brought to an end.